ring game, you come to the reaction video, new to try, make sure that sub button, new to sign, sign notification bell. See my gosh. I, the criminal history of THF Zoo, Lil Durk's most valuable assassin. God damn. When you when you label an assassin, who who is the assassin? Creed, yo, know, bro. THF Zoo. In America, bro. The fact that niggas can name you an assassin means you got more than one under the belt, bro. You know you got more than one than one under the belt, bro. And these niggas catching bodies from early. So imagine being 15, 16, 17, just out there catching bodies. Now you like 24, 25, just they just know you as an assassin. Cops can't do shit because they ain't got no evidence. It's known to be a Chicago demon OG. And is known and speculated to have put down several of his ops. I'm trying to catch over. Wait, that's Keith Chain? Oh, Dirk and Keith were beefing, and remember, I remember a couple of uh, things, homies. Wait, was it? It wasn't Dirk's homies, though. But I know niggas ran into Keith's kid and tried to rob him. And he's known and speculated. Wait, his kid's diapers and several shit. of his ops. I'm trying to catch up with us, bro. <laughs> Not happening. He's even been locked up for murder more than one time, and could have spent the rest of his life in prison, and could have seen her early death. This is Top Trend TV, and this Damn. is the. That nigga went to jail and got swole. Pause! Criminal history. And that nigga's a bodyguard. THF Zoo. You said y'all the reason why we got us a name? And y'all the reason why y'all got a name? We get y'all got a name. It we go both know. ways. No, it go both ways. If we put this back on to your own, it's still with that. You want to start this on? It's going to go both ways. Uh, we been it's never, it's seven, never been no killing without killing. We going to keep it real, though. We've been in two with y'all since 07, bro. Devon Shea Collier, a.k.a. THF Zoo, was born on September 26, 1991. Originally from the north side of Chicago, he lived in one of the most dangerous apartment complexes in Chicago throughout the 1980s and 90s, which were the Cambrian... Haven't had your Tims yet? Holy American Canadians. Need their Tims in the morning, head ass. What's going on? Oh. Green Apartments, a huge 19-story infamous apartment complex built in the 1940s to provide safe and inexpensive living for working class people. That got so bad in the 80s to where as though the Chicago housing authorities didn't even know who was living in these apartments. Cabrini is part of the worst public housing system in the country. So bad that two years ago the federal government threatened to take it over. The Chicago Housing Authority doesn't even know who lives in its buildings, but 100,000 people are waiting to get in. As a kid though, Zhu moved to the Woodlawn neighborhood where he would link up with the gang known as 4-6 or THF and would start gangbanging only at the age of 12. Growing up was pretty tough for Zhu and he didn't have much, even though it looks like he had both of his parents. The streets took a hold of Zoo at an early age. From robbing and stealing, he would then get in the shootouts with rival gang members. And only at the age of 18, he was a suspect in a murder case. On July 5th, 2009, Chicago police were looking for several men responsible for fatally shooting a man in a Bronzeville neighborhood in the morning time. Dominic Barnes was shot multiple times at about 10.14 a.m. in the 4700 block of South Forest Avenue, according to the Chicago police. A police spokesman said two people walked up to Barnes and at least one of them opened fire on him. The suspect then fled from the scene in a vehicle. Dominic Barnes, 21 years of age, on the 600 block of East 51st Street, was dead on the scene, said a spokesman from the Cook County Medical Examiners. The police officer on the scene could not provide a description right, of the, the vehicle or the suspect, and no one was in custody at that time. But on November 7th, 2014, over five years later, THF Zoo would get arrested for this murder, and he had just bonded out from gun charges, going right back to jail. Devon Shea Collier, 24 years of age at the time, was arrested early that Wednesday at the Southwest Suburban Orlando Park home of rapper Dirk Banks, who was also taken into custody and charged with weapons violation after two guns were found in the house. THF Zoo was charged yeah. with the shooting death of Dominique Barnes, officials said in court that Friday, oh, the prosecutor said Barnes was standing outside 
when THF Zoo approached him and inquired about Barnes' gang affiliation, prosecutors said. When Barnes answered, suspectedly THF Zoo produced a gun and fired multiple times, striking and killing him, prosecutors said. Zoo and an unknown co-defendant then went through Barnes' pockets and removed money before they fled in a waiting vehicle. THF Zoo was identified by multiple witnesses as the person who fired the fatal shot. And oh, those shoot. one witness well, also you. reported seeing THF Zoo with the gun immediately after the shooting, prosecutor said. Plus, he also had a pending unlawful use of a weapon case from January of 2014. He did about four years for these charges and got out around January of 2014. Four years? For lack of evidence on the case. Oh, but okay, okay. while he was locked up, a guy by the name of Mubu Crump put some money on THF Zoo's head and he ended up getting his job broke while he was in jail. You, man. Tell your people just you had your job broke. Hell. Wait, wait, a man put money on his head and got his jaw broke? Wait, then, then, hey, hold on, I did not hear that right. How do you put a bounty on a man and you get the bounty on you? For lack of evidence on the case. But while he was locked up, a guy by the name of Mubu Crump put some money on THF Zoo's head and he ended up getting his jaw broke. Oh, no, 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 okay, Zoo got his jaw cracked. Zoo got his jaw cracked. Okay, 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 I thought I, thought I heard that. I thought the homie got his shit cracked, but no, Zoo got his shit cracked. Bro, you just had those... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was in the wire in the county, baby. Oh, I never had wires in my door. So what was wrong with your door? Your door wasn't broke. Your door broke. Was your door broke, nigga? I never had wires though. Cause you run your mouth. Broke that joke, cause you a. Stop that, man. You was just in the county, hey baby. You was just in the county. You were just in the county for $75,000 bond, bro. You were just in the county for a $75,000 bond, bro. You still come home doing this? This deal you what you come home doing? You were just in the county for a $75,000 bond, bro. You said Wait, who what, right? Man? This is, this is ah, man, you ain't gonna shoot no Is that what you thing, still doing? He says the guy snaked him out and came up behind him while he was brushing his teeth. And after he got him from behind, he says the whole prison deck went up in a fight. Mubu Crump was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting on May 24th, 2018. At about 1 a.m., Ronald Crump, 32 years of age, and another man was standing. You see? You see? When well, tagging nights would be happening? Now, homie cry had beef with whoever, bro. He probably beef with beer niggas. Beef with Chicago niggas into it with everybody, bro, but. God damn. For, for the YouTube story? See how, how I'm acting this connected? Oh man, that just makes it just it just makes niggas like Zoo have a higher so like it, we us civilians do not know if that shit's related. But the fact that it was so close and the YouTube story is relatable. I killed in a drive by shooting on May twenty fourth, two thousand eighteen. At about one AM, Ronald Crump, thirty two years of age, and another man was standing outside in the sixty eight hundred block of South Morgan when a vehicle drove by and someone inside started shooting, Chicago police said. Crump was shot twice in the arm and twice in the torso, according to Chicago police, and was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead. 051 Melly, which was a good friend of Crump, even was dead the night of his death, and he was yeah, injured heard that name. and says he was taking a piss in the bushes when he got killed. 051 Melly and THF Zoo had a weird relationship with each other. Because even though they were enemies, they would get on live and kind of have a mutual respect for each other. I hate you and I don't even hate nobody. You got the balls to be yourself. That's why I like your test. He was even close to THF Raheem, who was killed May 24th, 2015 from gunfire. And Zoo even used to mess with THF Raheem's mother. With Raheem not approving at the time, he eventually came to like Zoo and look up to him. And his suspected killer in the streets is O'Fallon. Wait, wait, wait. Homie was knocking on his mom and he became his idol? That's crazy! <laughs> 2015 hey, from Gunfire. I guess he's a driller. You don't can't beef with a driller. He was THF Raheem's mother. With Raheem not approving at the time, he eventually came to like Zoo and look up to him. And his suspected killer in the streets is 051 Melly. On June 1st, 2018, Melly, he was arrested having a warrant out for his arrest and did about a month in Cook County Jail. And this is when him and King Vaughn would record the song Beat That Body because King Vaughn was let out around the same time as Zoo with the same charges but different cases. And I have a King Vaughn story on my page. The song Beat That Body 
has over 6.8 million views of this recording. But on April 5th, 2019, Zhu was arrested again for reckless conduct and for having a rifle and a shotgun near a school slash park. Finding out a few days later, he was then arrested again on May 13th, 2019. And this was around the same time that Lil Dirt and King Vaughn got arrested for attempted murder. And they were facing 20 years. And I have a story about that on my page too. But Beizu was find arrested out about for the that, same stuff. They won't be he was arrested for back in 2014, sure. which was the murder of Dominic Barnes. A little bit less than a year later, on March 22nd, 2020, he would be released again. This time, Zoo would take music a lot more serious, dropping his song named Streets Bleed Murder on May 7th, 2020, and dropping many more songs like Safe, All Type of Ish, and Christmas, featuring D. Moolah. He even did a song with his daughter named Back in Blood Remix. THF Zoo has about three kids too, and his relationship status is unknown. But That'll be about it for THF Zoo. Make sure you like or dislike. I, 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 okay. Damn. Yeah, the fact that you guys can find all these level with these niggas is kind of crazy, bro. Uh, you, know, you just take a stroll on YouTube lane on the dark side and these niggas let you know how de devious these niggas are. These niggas are true assassins, bro. Serial killers. Bro, how niggas are serial killers, bro? Serial. You feel me? I remember growing up thinking this shit was entertainment as a civilian, like, yo, you know what I mean? This is some cool shit, and these niggas are getting... Now that I'm older, looking back at it 10 years later, god damn, these niggas are fucking different, bro. How was I even supporting this shit as a kid, bro? But hey, man, you you living through all the niggas. That's what it basically was. Now these white kids are living through these niggas, bro. That's why... It's getting worse, man. Now Mads are pissing on graves and trying to do the most just to get um some clout. But hey, you guys already know it's from the comments to how you feel. Y'all make sure y'all like the video, man. Please like the video. If y'all want to see me get shot at others, go to my Instagram, follow back, and you definitely find yourself on my channel eventually. Trust me, you will. Alright? Till next time. Daddy K, daddy K, no, 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 you bitch like Johnny K. Hey, he up, pull up, and roll with skates. Or it might sound like a violin. Hey!